What's that? Right. Right. Listen, you watched Fights this weekend? Yes, I did. You sure? I'm positive. Hey, your eyes work and your memory still work. Everything like, worked. Well, then what happened and why did it happen? Motherfucker can't fight. Where you from? Plain and simple. Huh? Plain and simple. Ain't that he can't fight. He's not all, uh, all around. He's not an all a, a complete fighter. Mm -hmm. To me. Who's a complete fighter to you? <laughs> Why you say Chicago? Is it believable or unbelievable? Chicago is dangerous, man. Hey, man. Hey, keep it real. Keep it gangster. I know what size is there. I like From Caleb Plant. I, I believe Caleb, if he's boxing, he, he can beat him Chicago. if he stand toe to toe. They, they I'm not sure. Him, so everybody I can know watch. he can take a punch. And yeah, I yeah, got yeah. mad because you make a love for Caleb. But I would love to see him put his boxing yeah, skills on him, and do not Motherfucker make it out of Chicago. try to go toe to toe with him yeah, just to show him. him. What? Just to show him that you can take a punch. Right. I don't listen to that rap shit. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. The phone in your hand. Let's do it. Oh, it's dead. Mine is four one six. Oh no. Take me there, but now it's all over you. Yeah, Are you pro, brother? Yeah, I just went pro. Yeah. You want to let the people know who you are? He got, he got, he got, he got that 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 no in a year. I just went pro. This your man's? Oh red man. Oh red man. <laughs> All righty, let's pop it, man. What's we up, bro? In. Introduce yourself, buddy. Uh, I'm Antonio Zepeda, heavyweight boxer, three and zero, three knockouts. Yes, sir. This weekend boxing was lit. Yes, you, it was. You feel me? Uh, Fury Wilder, three. My prediction was Fury all the way. Huh? Actually, the way I predicted it is exactly how it played out. I said Fury uh, was going to get him out of there. I think Wilder put on too much weight. Mm -hmm. He's most dangerous, about two twelve to two twenty. I see you on the book talking. Yeah, but yeah, you saw you saw what I said <laughs> on Facebook. I, uh, I think that weight was a big was a disadvantage on his on his end. Uh -huh. And I also said, you know, that I I think Malik Scott had him looking good in the beginning, but eventually he would revert back to his old self, is which is what he did. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is uh, Wilder was talking about benching three fifty, but at the end of the day. Fury's leaning on you. That's, you got to squat that, not bench that. So, Ooh. at the end of the day, what I predict is exactly what happened. That part, that part, that part. Okay, look, you got Tank coming up. You feel me, Rolly? How you feeling? Oh, uh, man, I can't speak on that one. Oh, man. I'm, Rolly's my guy, but... Uh, hey, my guy, too. <laughs> I, it honestly, it depends on how Rolly approaches count. Uh -huh. if, 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 if he's going to fight power with power, uh -huh. I don't know. But if he goes in there with a game plan, he moves... And he boxes, yeah. combined with his power, then he definitely can get him out of there. It just it depends how he approaches it. Bullet, Flex. I think Bullet will get him right. Bullet's a great trainer. So just, it depends on their game plan. That's really what it comes down to. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me see. You sick and uh, uh, Fury, who you got? You sick and Fury? Yeah. If, well, yes, if, they, if, yes. they, if they do if it. If they do it, I don't think nobody beats Fury, bro. Nobody? Nah. At all? Fury's too big and he moves like a light heavy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and, and Usyk is way too small for, for Fury, so uh, I think Fury gets him out of there. That's just All my right. prediction. All right, for sure, for sure. Uh, where we can find you at, man? You find me on Instagram at Antonio Zepeda underscore underscore. Uh -huh. Same on my Twitter. So just follow me and hit me up. That part, that part. You got anything else you want to say? Uh, I fight this weekend in Houston, Texas. Looking to go 4 0. I'd appreciate any support from anybody. Hey, man, send the link, text us the link so we can put it on the video. Yes, sir. I will yes, do. Yes, sir. We clocked in. My guy with Antonio. Yes, Let's get it. See you, bro. Hey, you still hooping? Yeah, I got a game tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to go. Because I have a fight this weekend. I might. I, I talk? Yeah. I, I'm going to be up there. 10, 9 50. I'm going to be left by then. I'm going to be leaving yeah. at like 7 30. Uh, I might yeah. got a game at 6. Yeah, uh, I just got hit to be on another team, too. Like, if I'm not fighting, I'm, I'm hooping. What's going on, buddy? Let the people know who you are. I'm from El Moton, 18 years old. I'm a boxer. Just a boxing? 14 time national champion. No part. Even now we talk in the air. <laughs> Keep going. Are the people know who you are for real, man? Uh, so, I've been boxing for about, what, eight years? Uh -huh. Just been putting in work. Just trying to make it. You know? Hey, why you want to box? Uh, I like the sport. I love the sport. Mm -hmm. My dad got me into it at a young age, and I just took off since then. I've been going. I ain't gonna cap. The first time I was in the gym, I seen you sparring, right? It was about like four years ago. 
Man, this little kid, you was mouthing this dude. I was like, yo, who is this dude? So ever since then, I've been putting the camera on you. Every time I see you in the gym, I always got to show love and stuff like that. So, yeah, you keep grinding. I'll fuck with it. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. You're going you to make it, for real. Thank you. Uh, shoot, you watched the fights this weekend? Yeah, I did. It was a great fight. I liked it. Yeah? It was Who you was going for? I was going for Tyson Fury because I wanted to go with Deontay, but all the excuses, I just I couldn't really go with him. I didn't really like how he was acting. So I had to go with you. You, you went on. Okay, okay. So you know, already knew. You had a you had a uh, you got a tournament coming up December in Sweetheart, Louisiana. Uh -huh. Make sure y'all turn tune in. And yeah. That part, that part, that part. All right, my guy, good looking. I'll, I'll see you there though, I'm sure. All right, for sure. We'll we'll talk to you, good looking. Yeah. Can I get some words, brother? Yeah. On camera? Can I talk to you? Are you yeah. You're not in trouble. Yeah, can we get, sure. Can we get in the jail? Yeah. For sure. Good for looking. Sure. Sports. Make sure you follow my Instagram. My Instagram from Melmont in one. Yeah, tune in. Good looks. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. You fucking with it or not? Yeah. All right, bet. Represent on the ground, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for the post. I'm looking for the picture. <laughs> What you got to say? You got something to say? You can't come in unless you give us some predictions on camera right now. You got to introduce yourself. You can't walk up. Go ahead and introduce yourself, player. Let the people know who you are. You training with Kofi. You in the Mayweather gym. You uh, dig? Uh, pro, you pro? Yes, sir. Oh, oh man. Well, you already know what to say then. Let's go, play. We clocked in. You ready? I'm ready. Man, I've been rolling since you walked up. Yeah, my, my name is Gifta Cole Cherry from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm right here in Floyd Mayweather's gym. Um, the best ever. And again, um, I'm here just to get a little workout with Kofi. Mm -hmm. Good people around the gym. Uh, you know, good energy, good vibe all the time in Vegas. It was a crazy weekend I just passed, but either way, we move on to the next one. That part. Hey, you watched the fights this weekend? Yeah. You did? Who was you going for, man? And be honest. The fight? Yeah. Take, Fury. Uh, Fury. Wilder. Who was you going for? Uh, honestly, I live in Atlanta and I see Wilder all the time uh, because he's still, he's still out there. Mm -hmm. I have it in heart for him to win, but I know Tyson Fury is going to win because it's a different ball game. Yeah, absolutely. I'm well, at least. Be yeah, that's honest. Keep it real. Keep it real, man. This is real TV right now. What people going to know. It's real, honest. Uh, look, so you've been keeping up with the sport. Canelo and Caleb got a fight coming up. Who you got? 100% Canelo. Why? Um, because Caleb is not, he's not he is. up to that level yet. It's like, I don't think he have anything on Canelo. He doesn't have anything on Canelo right now. I don't think so, but maybe in the future, not right now. Okay. He's a good boxer, no disrespect to him. He's talented, he's blessed. And, but at the level where Canelo is right now, I don't think um, Caleb can stand him. Because right now, Canelo feel like he's the best boxer right, right now. So he will not let Caleb come, like, come hurt him or something. 
Okay, okay. Gee, guess what an old team. The black ops up, but damn, we're trying to get it, you know? Why are you in the corner, man? I don't want to be a corner man. man. But nobody wanted to let me know that I'm fighting like so. I just sit here and practice and do what I do. So you just, you just ain't ready? No. You can't, you can't be ready in the sport. You got to stay ready. When they call you, be on point. So I, 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 no, they don't want that. They want, you ready? Set up. You feel me? Hey, man, look. Did you watch the fights or not? Unfortunately, did I did not. You not the only one I didn't watch it either. So listen, me and you, same page. I seen the highlights though. Did see you see some of the highlights? Did you see him? Hey, hey how you doing? It's good to see you, man. All right. That's your man's? I know him, but I don't know the dude behind him. You want me to kick him out? <laughs> it's okay. I ain't got no car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go. Hey man, who you was rooting for, man? Fury. Fury, why? Fury. Why? Because Wilder's ignorant. You talk to talk, but you can't walk the walk. Your chin is suspect and your equilibrium's off because of that busted eardrum from fight number two. And you never had your chin tested like it was because you dropped Fury the first time y'all fought. But he popped back up with a new light. Damn, I hit him, but he's still up. He checked you the next time and tied you. This time it was a home run swing. He won the series. Cancel it. No more. No more. Mm -mm. How you feeling, Canelo? Plant? What you got? Caleb. For the decision. decision. Because his name is Sweet Hands, which he does have that. But Caleb's an excellent boxer. That's how he got the title. Box him, Caleb. Use that. And use these. Box them smart. Keep your distance. And I'll point them. Mm. You can lose. Mm. 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 Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> man. Hey, man, can I get a drop? We clocked in, man. With G. You feel me? Yeah. I'm talking to you. Joe. Pardon me, I'm multitasking. Gentlemen, he's overstepping his boundaries, touching my papers without oh, me getting sorry. You're touching my man's money? money? No, he's a fighter, but <laughs> he's a fighter, but I'm a fighter as well. <laughs> give me, give me. No, I, I got you. Give me just a second, yes. Let me hit a shout out, man. There you go. Uh, who, who am I shouting out for now? Cena Sparks. This is Uncle G to me with the Boxing Club. You're watching Chino Sports. Sitting right here in the seat. Got my man Jerome in the house. Jerome in the house. In the house. Hey, man, we clocked in with Jerome at the TMC gym. You feel me? This weekend. You watch the fight? Oh, yeah, yeah, I watched the fight. Yeah, yeah. I was saying about the fighter, the fight. But I know it's a difference. When Walter just stepped into the ring, I know it was a big difference. Now, what I've seen when he, before the boxing, the fight even started, before they got the rate, you know, uh, getting them ready to come out and fight, I noticed one thing about his legs. He staggered a couple of times. If y'all go look back at the video when he comes in, I'm like, what you got to say about the fight? <clears throat> well, uh, I've always liked Tyson Fury. Yeah. Okay. I respected uh, Deontay Wilder. He's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of ability. I think uh, meeting uh, Tyson Fury, he's mad his match. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's he's a bad just, man. He, I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, he, he's, because he's elusive. Tyson Fury is very elusive. He's just when you got a elusive, elusive fighter, a big elusive fighter against a puncher that just then all he knows is to come down with the right or throw a jab and just to have usually knocking out fighters that's in front of him. Mm -hmm. But when you got a fighter that's elusive, big, tall, heavy. That can work angles. Look what he does to a, a person that stands still. Again, uh, Deontay tried what he could against Tyson Fury. It's just Tyson's got too much, mm -hmm. too much for anybody. That strength. He, he's a big. boxer puncher. He's big. He's, he's big. special. Yeah, he's special. That part. And he can move. He can get away from that right hand. But look at he. He can get connected. He can yeah. get put down. Yeah, he can get put and down. Off balance. It mm -hmm. might have, you know, but again, he get, you know, he got out. He got up. And the, the way Tyson put it, was like, uh, he got knocked down, but God brought him back up. Right, okay. right. See, it's that That's ambition. That's a whole that other ambition. strength and that he's got. That remind me of the fights of the old. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That heart. Mm -hmm. Both of them Passionate. didn't want to quit. Either yeah. have to knock one of them have to be put to sleep. Like, yeah. And you see 
what what happened at the end. Oh, at the yeah. end. Yeah, no cap. Yeah. And the people pay what they pay for. They got what they paid for. Oh, they for. finally got what they. They finally There's been got, a couple of fights. I can you say got that, robbed, but that's one of the best heavyweight fight in a long in a decade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That brought back the old days of fighting. All right, now. You know what I'm saying. And that that's what that's what the people pay to see something like stress in the heavyweight division. Right, they right. want to see that. Well they uh it was throwing out you sick and uh Fury might get into it. Y'all y'all think that's gonna happen? You sick and who? Fury. Fury. Uh, I, I don't uh, think so. I think uh, right now and do you think no. that's a good match? Uh uh, not right now. Tyson's right now. too big. Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, right now, Usyk's uh -huh. got to prove himself. Okay. Yeah. The fight that he had against this guy, it was too easy against Joshua. He's got to fight Joshua yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll see what happens with Joshua comes back now okay. and learn from his last fight. Now, Joshua, I feel like Joshua is still trying to find his, himself. He still is. You can tell that that's when he fights. He's trying to find himself. He hasn't figured that out yet. You know, we don't How know. How you can tell? Because he's, just in, that out. he's scared to take a punch. When I, I say willing to give a punch, you got to be willing to take a punch. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed once a fighter get a, a decent connect with him, connect to any side, like right, left, hooks, or whatever, mm -hmm. his whole training falls out the back door. Everything yes. falls out the back door. It mm -hmm. falls out. Then he's like trying to re reevaluate itself and find itself again and it's too late. Yeah. So once he finds himself and he knows what he got as in his arsenal yeah. and he believes in his arsenal, oh my goodness. Hey man, look, the year almost over. A couple more fights out there. Y'all looking forward to any of them specifically? You got Plant, Canelo. Uh, you got back to the heavyweight division? Yeah, just in general. I see uh Tyson Fury just he's running that ring for a minute. Okay. I, I right now I don't see no, nothing at this specific moment. Yeah, right now, maybe they in the Olympics, maybe they great come out, but wherever they at, they need to make themselves known. Mm -hmm. I don't care what race, creed, or color, but they need to make themselves known. But it's gonna take a boxer, puncher to beat that man. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna beat just no brawler, no straight up forward fighter and think you're gonna beat that man. The fight happen. that I'd be looking forward to see would be Tyson and Polinius, that Norwegian guy that I'm off the I know what you're talking about. That's going to be a good yeah. fight. Uh, yeah. They get put together, that's going to be a really You good said challenge. where are you from? He's from Norway. Norway? I think that's where he's from, Norway. Okay. And, uh, I know exactly what he's talking he about. He was on that car, too. And he, he, he won that guy. Who did he beat uh, that Polish guy? Wojkowski destroyed him. <laughs> destroyed him. And so it'll be a good fight. And he's a southpaw, too. How, how do you feel about... Uh, the uh, 130, no, 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 no. It's a couple of fights coming up that I think is going to be exciting. This Roly fight. Oh, yeah. And, and Roley Davis. Davis. Gonna, yeah. yeah. And Roly. Both Romero. of them exciting to watch. Oh, I'm yeah. Not They're both exciting to watch. You've seen both of them. Both of y'all seen them. And I done, I done seen Roly uh, train box since he was a kid, you know. Uh, coming up, you know, now that he's a grown, grown man, and uh, and I watched Devontae. Devontae been doing it since he was a kid. Right, know, right, so. right. And Styles, Styles makes fights. You know, they both, both my buddies. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And but you gotta choose one yeah, uh, if you have to. I you mean, still be friends with both of them. Yeah, I'm still I'm cool with both of them. I'm cool with both. I, I know the experience on the experience level. Right. I know a boxer puncher. The same thing as the, the Wilder and Tyson Fury fight. Right. So you already know my answer. The boxer puncher did not just depend on power wins that fight. And when I say win, win that fight, win that fight by a long shot. Now, I'm not gonna give the public, I know who's gonna win that fight. There's no doubt about it. Okay. When I say the fight will be- Is it, it a quick, well, what it kind of fight stoppage. is it? It would be a stop. Okay, okay, okay. It won't go past Are the you vouching round. for this? The fight won't Are go you past eight. For this? Uh, he's got his own opinion. The I've reason why I say it won't go past the eighth because both parties have something to prove. Right. They both though though got tremendous powers in, mm -hmm. in either hand. It's not going past the eighth. But with that said and done, think about this. Wilder and Tyson Fury. Who's got more elusiveness and who box butt can punch? That's your answer who the winner is.
All right, the hot seat on you now. <laughs> well, I know who the winner is. I I, I love both of those guys, and they I both. Think, I think. Uh, I love both of them. I like. I think uh, too. Davis He's has going. got a lot more experience, and he's got a lot of talent. Okay, he's got a lot of talent. Got a lot of power. Rolly's got a lot of power. He's yeah. a little stiff, uh, but I think uh, he's been working on it too. He's yeah. working on that. They're, that's what they're in the gym right now for. So it's going to be something to look forward to. I'd love to see that fight. I'm not predicting the winner or loser. I like them both. I love them. Whoever has the best fight. Yes, sir. Be, was a good player. That's going to be another one of the fights of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's going to be exciting. I think it's, it's not going to be that. That were you, you know, it's gonna be exciting, very exciting. Caleb, Canelo, Canelo. Canelo. that's gonna be exciting. What y'all think? Caleb, uh, who y'all picking? Who you picking? Caleb, like I said, I've close been your knowing, eyes and pick. I've been knowing Caleb forever. <laughs> you know, I don't know Canelo personally, right? But you know enough. I know enough as in his strategic, his uh, technique, and his style to say, uh, in order for Caleb to pull that fight off, he would have to box him from round one to the end. I'm not talking about sitting in the pocket, going toe to toe, saying, "Okay, I can prove that I can stand in front of Caleb, in front of Canelo." No, he would have to box him with his speed, technique, and skill, and stay away from him. Mm -hmm. I don't care if he have to look, play the running man in the ring, but win by any means. That's what he would have to do to win that fight. But if it goes the other route, well, you're gonna stand in the front of a what I call a pet bull uh -huh. with a, a, a bag of meat, then it will go the other way. The raw meat. Raw meat. And uh, for Wish. him for him to uh, stand in front of uh, a fighter like that with the technique behind it, to me it's suicide. I mean, Caleb can punch, but his thing is to box. He's a good boxer. Right. Technique and skill, side to side, work the ring. He won't get touched. It's, it'll be a big difference if he boxes. But if he's standing there with that pet bull and he smell that blood. That's a chihuahua. It's a pet bull against a chihuahua all day long. That's and uh, Caleb, good guy, people's person. I know him from way back. He always he always been upstanding. Uh, person. My man said unbelievable things. That's what he here to do. Yeah, yeah. And I Come feel on, like man. I feel like on, if, you, if you set your mind that you not going. TV? You want some TV time? You on TV? Oh, I didn't. I did If you if you said it at not going to what everybody else think and everybody else want to do, and you just set yourself to a whole nother stage, a whole nother limit. Yeah. That's Caleb. He thinks outside the box, okay? If you tell him he can't do something, right? he goes to 150. Not 100, but he goes to 150. And that's one thing I can say about him. So at this fight, once this fight take place, best believe you're going to see something that you've never seen. Now, if Caleb do sitting there and try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, maybe he got something in his arsenal, but the world will find out. But he got a lot of tricks in his bag. I know that for, for, for sure. But he's not stupid enough to stand in front of a Canelo or any other fighter and go toe to toe. I mean, I mean, he can take a punch and he can give a punch, but he's not that stupid fighter. He's a thinker. Mm -hmm. There ain't too many boxers in, the, in this in this in, the, in this day of time that are thinkers. They want to see who can hit the hardest. They want to see him go go blow for blow in five years. You can't understand what they're saying. Right, right, right. Do you appreciate that in the sport, or you like boxing, boxing? Or you just like the competitiveness? I like the competitiveness my... and just the technique and skill set. I don't like the, uh, I mean, it's good. I the raw, saying, raw shit is some, cool. Sometimes they can go, if they trap themselves in the corner, they can go pop, 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 and best man, you know, best man wins. But other than that, 24-7. It's stupid. Because every time you, that, that head get hit, that brain get hit, that brain moves. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, what? what's the use of gaining the riches and getting your world belts and you can't spend it. You can't use it. Someone's pushing you around in the chair. Someone's taking care of you. And that's the truth when they say a man can gain the whole world and lose his soul. Hmm. It's not worth it. Boxing win by any means. Floyd, perfect example. Now with uh, Caleb, <laughs> with Caleb, uh, 
I, I expect him to be the big underdog. I like the underdog with Caleb. He's got, he's pulled off a lot of miracles for himself. He's been hungry, he's been wanting a big fight. And he's been through the storm. Yeah. When I say been through the storm, as in life, outside the boxing ring. Yeah. He's been through the storm. Uh, we have a lot in common with things that me and him sat and talk about, but he's been through the storm and he's got that, that God in him. I mean, when I say to come out and let it go, oh yeah, he gonna bring a lot of surprises. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go for the underdog, yeah. even though I'm Mexican yeah. and I love uh, Canelo and everything else and respect him and he's done everything he's done. He's lost against Floyd mm -hmm. and Floyd was my man, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Yeah, but uh, I expect an underdog to come through and I like Caleb a lot, even though yeah. I'm Mexican. I'll go with Canelo, but. You know, we got to go, we gotta go with our, our hometown, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm for Caleb all day, and he can pull a rabbit out of a hat, and I like both fighters, but I want Caleb to pull it off, you know what I'm saying? I'm black again. Hey, man, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah. Check my check my too. I love it. Yeah, we just clocked in with C-No Sports, you know what I'm saying? Jerome in the house with my homie Raphael. We making it happen. We still taking that cornbread. Hey man, let's get okay. it. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. how, that's how we can, do it. Can I get some beans? Can I get some mac and cheese? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You ain't it all. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are. Let the people know who you are, introduce yourself. You clock in with Seno Sports. I, my name is Tyson Jones, man, you know. Um, fighting out of New York City, man. Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long you been boxing, man? <sighs> Sick, don't sound crazy. Since I was 13. Why? Why boxing? Why boxing? Yeah. Um, you could be doing other things, running the streets. You could be uh, getting to the ladies, getting money, doing a whole I, lot of I was things. 13. You know what? Growing up, I used to see boxing on the TV, and I used to just basketball. Basketball I, is a big thing out in New York. Too. I always just liked to fight. I don't know. It just was always big in my family. It wasn't even. A, it wasn't even that we was boxers. We was just fighters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you like the sport, or you like just the fight? I like the sport, but I remember seeing my grandmother. Rest in peace. She passed away. Mm -hmm. I remember I was like maybe like. Four years old, five years old, when she she used to get the big fights. She was watching the Mike Tyson fight on the TV, yeah. and I was I was like a baby. I could barely remember, but I remember me sitting in front of the TV watching Mike Tyson fight. This is when I first got inspired. Mm -hmm. And Mike Tyson, I seen them fighting, and it was boxing. It wasn't like it wasn't. It was like out standing outside. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking in my head as a little baby, like. Why they don't just keep punching? I wasn't even thinking about gas. I'm like, right, all right, okay, okay. Now, why they don't just keep, I'm like, I could do that. I was like, I could, I was thinking in my head, like, I, if I was doing that, yeah. I'd be a killer. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay, okay. And then what's, later on. What's some of your favorite fighters? I, mean, I got to say Mayweather, of course, you know. You don't got to, you. <laughs> no, Mayweather, that's <laughs> like, you feel me? It used to be Roy Jones until I see Mayweather fuck Gotti up, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Tough shit, okay. You, you was watching fights this weekend? Um, Fury, Wilder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't watch all of them. I caught Fury Wilder. Yeah. Wilder didn't look too good. Yeah. I was you going for him at first? Be honest. It's the moment right now. Be honest. Uh, I kind of was. I kind of was. I ain't going to lie. Was I wasn't. You, I didn't. Was think, you betting on Black? I was scared for him the whole time, though. From jump? Yeah. From the first fight, I'm like, damn. And then he went in, and I was like, damn. I, you know, it was in my heart. Right, right, right. You know, but he couldn't pull it out, you know? That part, that part. Hey, man. Yeah. Is he coming back or is he done? I think he's done. Opinion. I think he's done. I think he should be done. I mean, with a record like his, though, he got a great record. You know what I mean? Um, he got a lot of money, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he took a lot of damage them last two fights. It was blood coming out of his head, drama looked like. Yeah. It's a dangerous sport, man. And, and you want to be in it? I want to be in it. I I don't think what's going to happen to him going to happen to me. But you feel me? No disrespect. I love you, Wilder, but... <laughs> Type shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, shoot, Canelo, uh, Caleb coming up. Who you got, and why? Canelo. Why? 
Big Canelo man. just got that that elusive style. I like I like Canelo. I think. See, if Canelo just he's. Are you familiar with Caleb? Not too familiar, but he's he's a smooth guy. He's smooth. But go ahead, say what you gotta say. I like Canelo because he just his style is slick, but he could be a little bit faster, but. When it comes to touching him, and be, I, I never seen Canelo really get beat up, beat up like that. Right, right, and okay. I, he always put it through. So even if Canelo lose, I can't see him getting smashed out. Join our interview. Uh, uh snaps. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I can't see Canelo getting smashed out. You know what I mean? But I like Canelo. That's one of my favorite fighters too. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, Tank Roley. I ain't gonna lie, um, Mackie, big gangster. I was just this watching. New York. I was just watching Roly. I like Roly's style. I feel like he had hard and he got a nice style. You know what I'm saying? But my boy Tank, he different. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're being honest. Real yeah, shit. Tank different. But the sport, you know what I'm saying? It could be one punch. You feel me? Never know. Yeah, could, hey, Roly got know. yeah. You never know. You Roley, never know. I'm not counting. We never really out. seen Roly go that long of a fight. Yeah, I'm not counting. So he might get really. You know what I'm saying? Get busy. He busy. undefeated, and, and his defense is pretty good. I, I don't see Tank just going in there and smashing him out either. Yeah. But, yeah, that's going to be a good fight. For sure. That's you watch him. That's going to be a good fight. Roley got a real awkward style. That he part. got awkward style. It's different, but he know how to box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a, it's, it's exciting. I'm going to be excited. To yeah, watch I wanna, this one. I, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to watch, watch this one. Yeah, I'm going to watch that one too. I didn't watch all the fights, but I'm going to watch this one. For yeah. sure. And I've been watching Instagram. I've been on Instagram. You been on Instagram? Yeah, I'll be on Instagram more than anything. You, you, you be seeing what they've been posting? Back, well, well, really, Roly, he's funny on Instagram. Nah, I don't know. Uh, hey, Roly, a character on Instagram. Hell yeah. You know who he is? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, man, yeah, go ahead and speak yourself, man. Let the people know who you are. Yeah, my name is David, David the Boxer. People know me as Big Dave. So, yeah, you know, it's going to be an exciting fight to watch. You know, they're both good. It's going to be an exciting fight, I'll tell you that. You know, it can go either way. But, you know, they're both coming in like Tank. He's like no mercy. Right. And Roly, he's not scared, you know. So, shit, it's about to go it's down. Going right? down. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Hey, man. You don't want to miss it. Who you going for? You got to pick one. I go with Roly, man. He, you know, I'm training with his um, trainer, and man, he got some down the sleeve, you know. So that's the great thing. I'm training. So, with, I'm training with, with Roly training right now too. That you know part, what I'm you dig? <laughs> yeah, you know, keeping it gangster. Yeah. Though. I'm keeping it gangster. That part. Gotta keep it gangster, you know. You dig? Gotta be honest, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Tank different. What, what really got me is that last fight when with Tank for um. I I think I, yeah. His last fight and Floyd came to the corner. He was like, "Yo, you down, bro? Like, you want me to tell you the truth or you want me to lie? You down? You want me to knock down?" He went out the next round and put him out and finished him. I'm like, "That's that gas. That's that smoke. Like, like he can Isn't step it? on it whenever he's ready." That showed me some shit. Like, is that an East Coast thing? What the gas? You no, know? that type of style. Just, That's huh. just that dog. I ain't really that familiar that with dog. boxing. I ain't gonna be that dog. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? He kind of like a DMX. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you feel, feel me? me? Is that an East Coast thing? I don't know. I'm from the West Coast. You see, I got my bands on. I'm saying that's that's, that's an everywhere thing. That's universal. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? It's a hood everywhere. Coming. <laughs> my man's ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what's your Instagram, buddy? Shit, uh, Flo Getty. No, no, Getty Gods. Man, you sure? Yeah, G E T T Y G O D Z. Get it, God. That part. Hey, can we get a shout out? We clocked in with Ceno Sports. We clocked in with Ceno Sports. Clocked in, Ceno Sports. Holla at your boy. Clocking out. One. Now. Wow. Good shit. Good looks, bro. Good looking. I'm about to see you.